Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Play a Paint Alive. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday evening. Here we go with another one of these, and uh, I'm just going to open up our good old comment section. First off, I'm going to make sure that uh, we've titled this correctly. What is the matter with? What is the matter with people? What is that? Anyways, this is going to take a second here to uh, get this all set up. So we'll get right to it, okay? All right. And we are going to be calling this. Whoa. <clears throat> now we're changing this painting. Whoa. Why does it not like me? Aristea. Painting Aristea um, 8 ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are going to uh, hashtag Aristea. Whoops. Hashtag Aristea. All right. And I'm going to wipe this out. <coughs> All right. Okie doke. And now let's go to the chat. And let's get caught up. So. If you guys are just tuning in, we are going to be, we are getting back to painting these Aristea miniatures. Um, and uh, I stopped, you know, you guys were caught up with me entirely. I have not touched them since the last time we we uh, did this stream. So here is 8-Ball so far, and here is, uh, here is Valkyrie. You can see Valkyrie is actually moving along pretty well. 8-Ball still needs uh, uh, quite a bit to uh, <clears throat> to get him closer to where he needs to be, okay? So, right now, we're going to continue on with the color blocking. Then we're going to come back in and do some detail work, okay? So, if you're just joining us, welcome to Play It Painted Live. Let us know what you're painting, what you should be painting. Tonight, we're working on some Aristea minis. And i got to find my... Skeleton Horde. Let's see if I can find it. Skeleton Horde. There it is. Alright. Skeleton Horde for the wrap here. For the rope. For all this other kind of stuff. On Mr. 8-Ball. He's just such a busy model. He has so much going on. No, that's not the best. I gotta fix that. Yeah, I'll I'll touch that up with a with another color here. But let's let's get let's get all the <coughs> the wrapped arms and all that kind of stuff. Let's get and the wrap on the weapon. Let's get all that done. They're just uh. A bunch of stuff back here that needs to be accounted for. Right. I mean, super fun model, don't get me wrong. Very cool. Very, very cool model. But there's just a lot of, like, tedious level detail here that needs to be attended to. I mean, he's got an octopus on his back. How cool is that, right? Let's just start off with an appreciation of how cool that is. Okay. Oh, there's a whole other side to this plate and stuff down there. There is a lot. Of there's just a lot of different layers. <clears throat> to this model. Lots and lots of different areas. Alright. But let's let's do the color blocking. Like let's let's get this where it needs to be. Basilicanum gray for the bucket though. Right. 
for the big club here. Pretty gnarly looking weapon he's got. An extremely cool. Extremely cool weapon. Okay. Oops. Let's set up a little bit. You know, it's just, like I said, there's so much detail on this model that you really got to figure out what you're painting. Oops. <clears throat> While I get a Basilicanum Gray out, I'm going to do Basilicanum Gray on her weapons. She's a much cleaner design, so there's less to worry about on her design. Just a lot of uh, highlighting, right? Making sure everything looks pretty good. So we're going to let that dry for a minute. I think I'm going to start, um, we're going to start blocking out the basing. So there was like a green color, a purple color, and like a black color, right? There was like a green color, a blue color, and like a black color. But I'm going to, I'm going to vary that, I'm going to vary it just a little bit. So I want like mostly kind of dull colors on the base. So we're going to go steel gray. We're going to go like steel gray and a little bit of brown and black. And those going to that's going to be our colors, okay? And then I'll I'll wash it with an appropriate color. <clears throat> Okay. So just trying to put a little bit of symmetry down. So even though like they may be medieval looking like this guy here, still going to be, oops, let me just, why is it, this one look a little crooked? Where are the rows on this? Oh, that's why, because the rows are like that. He's actually standing on the side of this. I gotcha. So that's like that. Right, yeah. and then this would be here, and there, and then here, and here, and here, then there, and there, here. <coughs> okay. You can see this part of it goes pretty quick because once you 
have an idea of what your pattern is supposed to be, it, it's pretty quick. But yeah, might as well do this part right now because this part is going to take a little bit to dry. So, so now basically just any part that has that blue on it, we're going to put the brown off to the right side of this. <coughs> All right. And this is just going to make it, again, it's just going to break up that whole base and it's going to give us a, it's going to give us a cool, like reasonably uniform, uh, <clears throat> pattern here. I forgot that rock is there. That rock is its own problem. Okay. So now we got to do, oh, sorry. Now we got to do the dark color. So I need like a German gray or something like that. <clears throat> mm. Dry color. It's a thick color. All right. <coughs> A little German gray. So this is really easy now. Oops. I totally missed a brown spot. Or there should have been a brown spot. Right there. Should be one right there. This is actually pretty good without the black. I don't think we need the black. Yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty good actually. I'm gonna use the black on the sandals instead. I think we're pretty good there. And then there's some black on Valkyrie as well. Yeah, I think the I think if I do black on the tile, it just becomes too becomes too dark overall. So let's just let's leave it those two colors. And if we have to come back and do black, that's fine with me. All right, it's pretty good. <clears throat> I guess I could do these shin guards kind of black as well. These greaves, right? This is such a great miniature. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then let's do some, uh, let's do some, t oh, I forgot the gloves. Gotta do the gloves in black.
That is really cool. All right, so we got that. <clears throat> Any areas here that are should be black for this model? Not really. Not really. Okay. Uh, let's get some off-white down or some white, because I got to come back and do some touch-ups. There's some a lot of areas that just need to be retouched but before I do that I actually want to get this little iron ring here on the shoulder pad so we'll do that These models are fan freaking tastic, man. These are some of the best. These Aristea uh, limited models are some of the best models I think I've ever painted. <clears throat> Just the quality is off the charts good. And they're just so fun. This guy here is going to be a total blast. Uh, He's going to be a blast to have out, out on the game board. 8-Ball, we know, has fantastic rules. And I've been missing some Aristea. I think I have a little bit of amnesia with regards to how bad I roll the, the Aristea dice. A little bit of that going. Then there's a lot of like fine detail on the face here. I'm trying to get. There is an awful lot here. Whoa. Okay. And then the eyes themselves. Okay. It's not bad. Getting there. Might as well use this white to highlight the weapon edges, right? While I get the white out, just give us a couple edges here and there. There's also some areas like where'd it go? Right there needs a little touch up. Right here needs to touch up. Okay. All right. And then I'll maybe we'll do a little touch up on the inside of this bowl here. Right. There. Now I can. Then I can put whatever I want in that bowl, color wise. And we'll figure that out. Meanwhile, here on Valkyrie. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of white on this, on the the edge of her her axe. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and let's highlight let's highlight the belt here. So that can be gold as well. So I'm just going to keep flipping back and forth as we continue to round these out. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. So this whole area back here needs that color. This also needs it. It's just tons of rope around this miniature. Tons of rope and tassels and all kinds of stuff. A very, very busy miniature. Not bad, mind you. Just busy. There's just a lot. There's a lot going on with this dude. Okay. Let's see what else. So I'm just doing a little more highlighting. Okay. <clears throat> anything else? Am I missing anything gigantic? Not yet. All right. Let's break out some I end in yellow. Mainly just for the eyes here. Right. It's got a nice little yellow eyes there. Let's do yellow on this belt. Okay. Yeah, let's get to Let's get to the highlighting. Uh, so I think I want to use NMM Gold Base, right, to get some of that gold color back, and then we'll super highlight it. And we'll also highlight some of uh, Valkyrie's hair. Okay. <clears throat> so. Yeah, these are some these are some great models. Oh, there's just so much little detail on these that I'm always afraid that I just didn't paint enough on a model like this. But the it, it's actually Hey, what's up? What's up, Sean? What's going on, man? Playing some I mean, just painting some Aristea here. 
Sorry, I was about to say, I was playing some Ultima Online, but no, I'm not playing Ultima Online tonight. Just, we're doing some painting. I was actually playing a little bit earlier. How are you doing, sir? <clears throat> How goes? It goes all right. Um, hosted a Malifaux tournament today, so that was cool. Uh, fun time. You know, missed the game of Malfo. Had some people from out of town come down, which was cool. And then, uh, and yeah, got to break Colette out for a little bit. Had a really good game with Jan Lowe. Uh, against Yanlo and a game against uh, uh, against uh, Summer Teeth. So, yeah, overall, really good day, a lot of fun. Um, looking forward to doing some more Malifaux with the crew and and obviously kind of intermingling that with Guild Ball, because we still love our Guild Ball people, but. Uh, we are going to be doing. We're going to we're going to be bringing in more M3E into the fold here. All right. So we're going to clean up these beads a little bit, Might polish them up, put a little more gold on them. Find his painted models, nice. Good to be back in the painter's chair. Took some time off as I've been sick, as you guys know. Been sick and uh, also um, wrapped up a commission that I still have to deliver. Maybe tomorrow I'll have a chance to do that. We'll see. All right, so far looking pretty good, All right? Okay, <clears throat> so now next part of this is, and I love this octopus, it's so cool. Oh, let's put a little little dot here for the eye of the octopus. There we go. Want that octopus to be able to see. <clears throat> that axe, the axe blade looks pretty good actually. Um, all right, it's time. It's time to move up to the highlight, the gold highlight that we're going to use, and we are going to do some ice yellow as the next part. Yeah, you haven't been painting much. I know, it's just been busy. It's been busy time for everybody. And I am just trying to bounce back from this flu and whatever other complications I managed to find in the meantime as well. Okay. So really for her it's just it's just a bunch of highlighting. Yeah, thank you, sir. This is a very very fun sculpt. Super fun sculpt.
So we're going to highlight these up. Saw some of what you uh, were sharing in chat. It's really cool. Very, very, very cool. Whoa. But I'm glad I got to play a little Malifo today. I was been, I've been fiending for some games, man. that out a little bit right I'm gonna draw people's attention across the angle I like that the shield is sitting at a at a sideways angle like or you know just an off-center angle it's it makes the makes everything look more interesting on the model so I really like that I'm just trying to sharpen up this look a little bit more okay all right <clears throat> both of these models are rocking a lot of gold bits to them so there's an awful lot of NMM gold on both of these and it's broken up all over both of these models So yeah, you're working on knuckles. Nice. Yeah, one day we'll get a we'll get a game back together. I need more game content on this channel, not not Ultima game content. <laughs> I need miniature game content. It's kind of nice. That gold there. It's just a lot of gold on this model. As long as I get the, the edge highlights right, and I don't go overboard with where I'm putting the highlights to kind of fade up to gold as long as I'm you know do a halfway decent job there this is gonna look great right <clears throat> okay let's step up to off-white now the final highlight for the gold and then we can shade it down. Where is my off-white? I do not see it. Yep, I see no off-white. Hold on. I gotta have an off-white. It's foundation white. That is regular white. That is insignia white. Which is actually not bad. Insignia white could probably work here. Uh, do I want insignia? Yeah, insignia white's not bad. <coughs> Ooh. And you only want this in like two places in this whole model. Right? Just this sharp line right there. And the sharp line of the bowl. And then and this is super sharp the middle of this right there. Right? 
that's a nice way to to draw people's attention there all right Cool. And then let's highlight let's highlight bits of the wrap, right? And then let's highlight here. There we go. Get that down. All right, it's all about getting that lighting down. I started to get dry cough yesterday, so I'm surprised I'm not down for the count. Yeah, my cough was my cough has been really bad for like a week. But we are right now. We are right. As Chris Rock would say, well, you aight. You aight. You know, when a man can't say he loves you, the best he can say is, you aight. Okay. <clears throat> getting there, getting there. And over here, just the tippy corners of these, of that, right? Just the teeny little corners, top, the top, top part, right? Only just little, little bits of the edges. Let's get that going. I feel like I should be saying something like, like and describe, like and subscribe for more content, or some some crap like that. <laughs> but yeah, let's get these. Let's make these look as gold as possible. That's pretty gold. The scroll. Thanks, sir. All right. Okay, getting there. Getting there. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to do a deep, deep shade on the gold, and that should do it for the gold bits. That should actually make the gold look really good. So I'm going to take a little wildwood, which is super deep. Super the dankest of deep for not uh, for non-metallic gold. Put that there just to drive that contrast. Put it on the bottom of that. Put that here in the, the wrap. Here's where you really need it. You got a bunch of RSA you need to paint. Yeah. So fun though. 
These miniatures are off the charts good. I still have the uh, Shaman, ap even after this, I still have the Shaman uh, locks me to do. Might get around to that a little bit later this week. We'll see. And that's quite nice there. Okay. So again, all I'm really doing with this Wildwood is driving that contrast. Wildwood to sit there, here, and then let's we'll send it right into the crevices there. <clears throat> kind of break that up a little bit. <clears throat> Not metallic gold. <laughs> This is difficult. It is. Non-metallic metals is tough. Um, I can get away with it on surfaces that are a certain size. Once you start getting too too big and too broad, it relies starts to rely more and more on your skill. And if you don't got it, you don't got it, man. Like it's it's tough. You just kind of have to develop an eye. You're mostly just developing an eye for what color goes where and what colors you want to employ on a particular model. Because there's so many different formulas for uh, non-metallic gold, non-metallic steel that it's very easy to get lost in that, that whole thing. It's looking pretty cool, though. Him. Getting pretty happy with that guy. Oh. I, want, I want these little gemstones on his uh, on his sandals to be a different color. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. Right. And then got to highlight the shoulder. This shoulder here that's sitting underneath. I'm gonna highlight that. And then I'm gonna highlight the blue on our jumpsuit. I need a really, really bright blue to do this. Right? Because it's Talisar blue. And so I need to be careful here about what kind of blue I'm gonna use. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks, man. I think I'm. I don't think I'm very good at it. I think I'm kind of a novice at it. But I'll take the compliment. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um. Oh shoot. Also, so I want an edge on the top of the glasses. She has some awesome sunglasses. So good. Okay. Such a good sculpt. Um, I really want a nice bright blue. Do I have? I thought I bought myself a nice bright blue. Let's see what I got. Ooh, that's a really nice bright blue. That's a nice, this is a nice highlight right here. <clears throat> We are going to get her up and running like she's going to be red to rock here. Too bad I don't have her card. All 
Alright. So what is this blue called? Surf Aqua. Should be a pretty nice highlight to that Talisar blue that we used. And I'll mix a little... I want this to be very, very thin. And I'll mix a little um, white into it if I need a sharper... Um, if, I'm, if I feel like I need a sharper highlight. Which I may. It's actually quite good highlight for Talisar Blue. I'm kind of proud of myself. I picked that paint specifically to be a highlight when I bought it. I picked it specifically to be a highlight for Talis Art Blue. It looks like it looks like that's gonna work out just great as a highlight for Talis Art Blue. So I, I don't want us to get too far away from Talis Art Blue. But it's nice to know that there's some highlights there. Kind of help you see all the, the little details on the model. <clears throat> okay. And let's mix it up with a little bit of white. Like let's make our... Let's make like a super sky blue edge highlight. It's really just a couple of dots here. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta. I'm gonna turn that bit of hair back to yellow. I'm also. <clears throat> now we're just doing some highlighting off this way. It's a little light. It's okay though. All right, oh, pretty good. Just enough highlight here to make it look, you know, somewhat convincing. There we go. All right, not bad. Not bad, sir. Doing all right. <clears throat> yeah, liking that a lot. Liking that a lot, guys. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. There's this little piece here across their chest, which actually should be like a gold color. 
So I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of NMM. Instead of going with the contrast paint, I'm just going to go a little bit of NMM gold base and then shade it back in. You know, piece it small is not going to be like super, super sharp and lit up and that kind of thing. It's not going to be lit. <laughs> it's just going to be visible. Cool. Anything else I need here? She's looking pretty good. She's looking quite good, actually. I really like the... Um, how the light bounces around the blue, right? Looking across her suit. I'm going to soften it a little bit here. I might need to do a blue ink kind of to calm some of this down because the it's the lighting is a little exaggerated it's super fun though like that's a that's a crazy looking mini that is such a cool looking mini now let's just leave it hyper exaggerated like that do you need a little bit more it's a little too dark down here so I need a little more gold here on this shield. But almost like an overall effect gold. I don't need. There we go. It's just, there's a, it's looking a little too light right now. I need to blend some of these areas back together. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> They're looking pretty good. Let's give him like some sort of soupy thing here. Let's give him this like soupy. Soupy deal. Boop. There. <laughs> And we are just about ready. Well, let's bring out these eyes a little bit more. I want them to be a little bit more prominent. There we go. Pretty good. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. I'm glad you like it. So cool. All right. And... I'm going to fade some of the detail back on the face, back in, right? I just want to keep the light. You want to keep the light pointed towards the center of the face. So so as you go, the highlights get a little bit sharper as you head towards the, the middle. Okay. a lot of highlighting to do on this. All right. Let's 
It's a great weapon. Well, screwed up there. I'm glad you like the uh, hyper exaggerated look. That's cool. And then let's use, let's get a little pink going. Um, tentacles of the octopus. I think my favorite thing about this is the octopus. I think it's my favorite bit of the model. It's like a weird, this octopus is in a kind of a net, so I need to paint in the ropes here so that I can make them look more like, like rope, essentially. Oh, that's a whole basket. I didn't even re recognize that. Yeah. That's a whole wicker basket. And the octopus is just kind of hanging out because the Oni ate said octopus. Right? Yeah, that's a whole... Let's, let's paint that whole thing in there. So we can make it a basket, like it is supposed to be. <clears throat> Let that dry for a second. Let's do Basilicanum Gray on her. Yeah, this model is rocking it. Love this model now. It's getting, getting really fun to look at. Okay, so kind of going with a more dull basing scheme than the rest of my Aristeo minis, but you sh shouldn't be able to tell a huge difference in them. These guys are just going to look more dull. Alright. And he's on a rock as well. that and let's do and let that dry for just a second I need that them are black what did I do with that so um, I figured I'm gonna go ahead I already did the draws on the other um, Giveaway minis for extra life. So let me. So let's let's. Uh, oh wait. I'm gonna do. So we're gonna paint in the bases for this model. And let them go get to an appropriate dry time, and then I'll announce those winners to you guys. Um, just a reminder, if you did attend the live event, which most of you guys did, I re-entered you. So I re-entered you into these drawings for attending the live event. All right, so 
So yes, you could, you may have won something, even though you haven't donated. Well, nobody has donated since the live event, but uh, for those of you who attended the live event, and for those of you who got in on the early bird, you are still highly eligible here to win stuff. Okay. <clears throat> I just don't, I mean, he's so busy, it's hard to see everything that's going on with him. I don't know how I feel about that. I know that that's the aesthetic, that's an, what an Oni is supposed to look like, like super, super busy. If you look at the, you know, the old artwork for Oni, they're always, they always had like 900 things on them, and they, they were all kinds of colors of blues and reds and golds very colorful I like how you know the Japanese demons are they're busy living their best life like they're usually like eating something or they're out hunting they're drinking sake like this guy is like I love how the the Jap and the also we should point out that the Japanese don't necessarily view Oni as evil not all Oni anyway so even though it looks like this, it looks like an evil, terrifying demon, it's not so black and white evil like it is in, you know, Western, like demons are in, in Western culture. All right, that is a fantastic sculpt. Really do like that, this limited edition Valkyrie. Super fun. All right, so I'm gonna get to a point where I can stop and kind of let these guys dry and read you guys. Read off the winners of the rest of the last bit of Extra Life. This is it, man. I do not... I'm so glad. I do not need to... Sean, I, I, I owe you Encantress, and I owe you a Misdemeanor. So hopefully I can get that out to you soon. I'd rather meet you for a game, but if you tell me you can't be out here for a while, I'll have to figure out a way to ship it over to you. Okay, so, speaking of which, let's get into it. Let's announce our winners <clears throat> for for our Extra Life Uh, okay. Yeah, so let's announce the winners for the rest of the raffles. I'm going to come over here to this other computer. Oh, wow. Nice, uh, nice cut list there, Sean. Just saw a photo of that. That's awesome. I like some of the work you put in on the face is really nice. I also like the uh, the work you put in on the the top armor, the the breastplate. Okay. All right. So let us get. I think I had it on Google Drive. 
Because I did the drawings and then I kind of just left them in there without announcing them. Was going to announce that, like, was hoping to do a little bit more of an event to announce these winners, but. You might try to make Tuesday. Oh, please make Tuesday. Please make Tuesday. Come or, uh, I have a job in Idlewild, so I may be able to get there in the afternoon or early afternoon. All right. So here we go. Where's, did it not save? Ah, uh, okay, hold on. I thought I re-uploaded it. Should have been. Let's see if I can find it. Let's go to spreadsheets. Okay, Alvia, Alvia. It's got to be there. Let's download it. Let's try Google Sheets if it shows. Yeah, this is oh, still loading. Yeah, don't tell me I don't have the spreadsheets on me. Ah! I totally did it. Why is that still loading? Should not take this long to do. Yeah, so I got to go out to Tuesday morning. I got to get out to Idlewild pretty early in the morning. And then I should be. I, I, what I'll do is I'll just send you a note when I'm headed down the hill. It'll take me about two hours to get back to Orange County. But I can give you plenty of notice when I'm headed down. Actually, I gotta head halfway down the mountain before I can get service again. Ugh. Still loading? No. Go away. If it's why is it taking you that long? How did that? It, yeah, it didn't copy. Cried. It did not. <clears throat> maybe it. Uh, maybe I saved it as a different file. No, I just didn't upload the latest version. So, I guess I could just do a new. No, I, don't, I can't because I don't have the updated list. Ah! Okay. That's very frustrating. All right. That's a bummer. Okay. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I screwed up again. <laughs> Why did that not upload? 
it didn't upload my latest because uh, I did the drawings already and I highlighted who won. The good news is, you know, I don't think other than the stuff. Oh, no, there is one other. There's a couple packages that need to go out. But other than that, we are we are pretty square here. All right. Did they have Marvel Crisis Protocol? No, CQ did not have Marvel Crisis Protocol. At least not yet. But, uh, all right. So let's go ahead. And just put this up for now. We're going to have a short stream tonight. And I'll paint. Um, next up is going to be... Oh, just wrecked that. <laughs> okay, so next up is going to be um, this Shaman version of, uh, of Loxme, which looks like a fantastic model. This, however, how, the, how this attaches does not look like a very good time. <laughs> oh my gosh. How does that? Oh, I see. There's a peg here. It goes in like that. It goes like that. Oh. Something like that. Goes like that. Ooh, that's a weird fit. Um, yep. And then it goes on this cool base thing. But yeah, anyways, I'll worry about that a little bit later. But that, that is next up on the thing. Oh, shoot, we made a mess. this up all right guys well I am done painting for the night so I'll just show you what we did so we got the limited edition Valkyrie who looks great <laughs> we'll say super fun super fun model to paint real simple not a whole lot of colors in this model but again Super fun. All right. Love the pose. Love the pose. It's just so much attitude, too. Gotta love that. Okay. And then we got... Uh, then we got the big man 8-ball here. Who is great. You know what? I'm going to seal them. They look like they're... Look like I can, I can just seal these up real quick. Might as well... No harm in doing that right now. And I can photograph them. bit of varnish on these guys and we can call it
telling you, yeah, that model is awesome. That is a super fun model. My one regret is I probably should have went with my gut. And I should have painted her orange. Because <laughs> I should have done more hot fire. From Should have done more, added her to the, the hot fire collection. And that orange really would have been... Oh, I forgot to paint... Okay, well... Not 100% done then. I'm going to paint the sake bottles. So much detail on that guy. get them all sealed up so we can enjoy them and we'll just shoot that clean it's gonna clear out the entire thing Yeah, dude. I've been, I've been jonesing to play some Aristea. Been really... Been wanting to do it now. Bought a new mat. Got 3D terrain. Let's do it. Okay. So. Alright, people. That is... That's it, man. We're gonna... We're gonna let this stuff dry and... <laughs> I'll get around to painting his... His wine bottle. And actually, let's just do it right now. Super easy. Super, super easy. <clears throat> All you gotta do is just paint them both green. All you gotta do. That's all you got to do. There. Dude is drinking that sake. <clears throat> so much fun, though. Yeah, can't wait. I'm going to... I... Valkyrie is a, a, you know, the fun... The fun female tank means you can run some really, really cool waifu um, as some of your setup. So, can you imagine her with Dart? That's so cool. So cool. Some of the best looking. Aristea has some of the best 